Hey guys, Blessful Sunday. Happy Sunday to each and every one of you guys. I want to start off by saying thank you guys so much for your support and the love that you show my channel each and every time I upload. This truly means a lot to me and I just want to let you guys know I'm very grateful and thankful for my community that I have built on YouTube, my YouTube family. So today is Sunday. We are starting off with my DIY project in the living room. It is going to be myself and my daughter. This might be me solo today because she's still getting some rest and that's perfectly fine. I don't expect her to get up to be an early bird like myself. But that's what we are gonna be focusing on. If you guys are able to see this large dresser right back there, that's what we're gonna be working on. Um, I wanted to do the white with the black knobs, but these knobs on this dresser, the dress is very old, first of all, so they don't come off. But I have my coffee bar in situations like that in my kitchen with the black, white, and brown, and I did not want to copy it in the living room. I honestly want my living room to, meet, to be like a moody room, more darker colors. So that's my plan in the living room, just to have a little bit more darker colors. I don't want each and every room in this small apartment to be the same, so I want a little bit of uniqueness in each room. So the color that I chose, I finally got my order from Walmart last night, is a coastal blue. That color is pretty close to the blue that I have on my bar stools that's in the living room and also a stand that I did paint a while back um, by Sharon Williams. That color is so beautiful. So hopefully, fingers crossed, everything turns out right on that. But yeah, we're going to get started on this project. It is almost 10 a.m. So once again, happy Sunday. I hope you guys are doing well, but we're going to go ahead and get started on this project. <laughs> All right, before we get started, I'm going to take you guys in the kitchen to show you the paint that I will be using. I did get a small tube of the jet black um, paint by Apple Burl. It was only for 58 cents. So let me show you guys that real quick. The paint did cost me $23 for tax. I believe the size that I got is going to work. Hopefully, fingers crossed. So here it is. All right, here it is. I got my roller just in case. If I'm going to be doing this by myself, most likely I won't use this. If my daughter is helping me, she'll be using this. Just different size paint brushes that I've had. This is the Rustoleum Chalked Ultra Matte Paint Coastal Blue. It says easy application, one coat coverage, applied to a variety of surfaces, dries to a chalky smooth finish, and that is what I want. So let's get started. Painted body, you child. Taintless heart displaced Eyes and mirrors unmeant Reflecting our space Let me feel some heart dear Blindness hidden in this pain Friends will never be lost As we surrender to their games As we surrender Tears been told, so though we grow The humble hands, humble hands shake low So though we grow The humble hands, humble hands shake low Humble hands, 
Since there's just so much things in those drawers and they're heavy, I'm not going to take them out. I did pull them out if you guys were able to see. Try to line them up to each other as best as I could on each row. That way, when I'm painting around it, it'll be a little bit easier and they'll be able to dry just a little bit faster. I found an old shower curtain. No one's up to help me. That dresser is extremely heavy so I just put it in front so in case any paint drips it won't be on the floor let's go ahead and get this project started okay so why I am hopping on this large DIY project doing my dresser the Q&A's will also be included in this video the questions that I will be answering that you guys have asked me so we are going to start off with the first one and it says what's three hobbies of yours which holiday is your favorite to decorate for and any advice for new homeowners on how to make a home cozy i have three hobbies i'm sure i can name off the top of my head my first one of course is diy's craftings um just everything in between that Painting is included. I love to catch up on older movies when I do have the time, and I also love to read. So those are the three most important hobbies to me as of yet. My favorite holiday to decorate for by far is for Christmas. That is one of my favorite seasons I look forward to doing every single year. Um, my advice for new homeowners, honestly, um, just make it your own um, just be yourself whatever creativity comes out of your heart make your home for yourself and um, she also says would you consider selling decor pieces of some kind yes I absolutely would <laughs> what made you start a YouTube channel um, to be honest you guys at first I was scared I was so scared and nervous but I wanted to put myself out there I knew that I had things to share with the world um, and so I, I just went ahead and did it. I pushed start and pushed my first videos out and, and the more videos that I pushed out the more response which was very good. Um, you know it comes with territories um, whether you are a new um, YouTuber or you have been on social media for a while. Um, negativity does come with it but that's okay though you just have to have a backbone and know that whatever you put out there um, social media is going to have a backlash or either it's going to be a good, you know, good response. But I just went ahead and kept pushing videos out and then I got followers and subscribers and supporters and that really made me feel like, okay, people are watching, people are wanting to get to know who I am. And at the end of the day, that is exactly what everyone wants. So um, that is my journey so far on YouTube. Um, I really honestly can't complain because 99% of the time I just have the best people that come to my channel. So, yeah. The next questions I have, they are, 
what is your favorite store and is your favorite meal to cook? My favorite store, hands down, is to shop at Walmart. I love Walmart, been shopping there 20 years ago. <laughs> and um, my favorite meal to cook, honestly, I am a pasta girl, so any type of pasta, I really love to cook. How long have you lived at your current location? I have lived in this apartment complex, total seven years, five upstairs, and I stayed downstairs before it flooded for two years. The next question is, what other cities or states have you lived in? Um, I have traveled and visited a lot of cities and states, but the only state that I have stayed in, and that was briefly, that was in Tampa, Texas, but it wasn't for too long. I believe it's Tampa, Tampa or Pampa, one of the two. <laughs> it was not too long, maybe two to three months. Would you decorate someone else's home if asked? I absolutely would. But here is the kicker on that, you guys. I would have to know their style completely of what items that they would like to have in their home. Example, if I love blue, green, and red in my bathroom, I would have to let a person know. And so they can either decorate around that or close to that. So yeah, I would absolutely love to do that. Um, what's your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday, hands down, is Christmas. Christmas is through my heart, through and through. So the next question is, would you do collaboration with other DIYers? I would absolutely do a collaboration. I would just have to know the date, the time, and when. <laughs> but yeah, I, I wouldn't mind doing that. That would be a, a fun thing to do, actually. So if there is anyone out there on YouTube land that who would love to collaborate with me and do some crafting, I'm here. Just reach out and I'll talk to you. <laughs> okay, the next question says, um, have you ever thought about doing a live show? I do have a plan on doing a live show when I reach 4,000 beautiful YouTube family members. So when we have 4,000 on this channel, we will be doing a live. What is your favorite color? White is my favorite color. It's always been that for a long time. When I was younger, seven, eight, nine, ten, I used to love beautiful pale yellow and orange and purple and green, but white is my favorite color, hands down. They also ask, what is my zodiac sign? I am a Leo, you guys. Yes, I am. I am a beautiful Leo. So if you didn't know, now you know. <laughs>
The last two questions that I have, how old are you? I am a beautiful 45 years old. I am so proud to see this age and I pray that I have many more. So I am 45 years old. What shows do you like? To be honest, I love horror movies. That might be a surprise to most of you guys, but I do. I really don't watch them as much as I used to. Um, I like a lot of like suspense movies. I also like a lot of educational shows and movies. And a while back, I used to watch Bob Ross. If you guys have heard of him, I always would love to study and watch him paint. He does a beautiful job. And that's pretty much it. You might catch me sometimes watching a little bit of comedy, but not too much. So that is all the questions that I have, you guys. I appreciate you guys for jotting down some questions in the comment section below. So now since that is done, we are going to go ahead and continue with our DIY project on this beautiful Sunday. That's one coat, but I don't know if it's just the way that I'm painting it or is it because it has the chalk paint. Also, at the end, when I get it completely finished, I'll let it dry and then I'll go back in and do the touch-ups because there still is just a little bit of white. And I think that's why I'm trying to use a smaller brush because it's kind of hard to get into the smaller areas, but it looks like it's going to come out pretty good.
I was going to try to paint the knobs black, but I changed my mind. I just went in my kitchen and grabbed a sponge. I don't have sandpaper, which would make the job a little bit easier. So I am just taking the handles. This part is dry and I'm just roughly scraping it to give it more of a distressed look that you guys know I truly love. And look how this result is coming out. So that's what I'll be doing with the rest of the three, six, eight of these. So, but first we're gonna continue and finish the top part of the dresser. I'll show you guys how I'm going to distress the knobs and then that will be the end of this video. Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys, this is what it turned out. It is absolutely beautiful to me. Sorry about the lighting. I hope you guys are able to see, but you guys know in my living room, the lights are dull, but we distressed this and it looks so beautiful. The blue ties in with the background that we have back here. Our plan is to get some gold paint at Walmart and just go around the little edge part right here just one little thin line and then at the bottom. But I also painted this and put my little pumpkin picks to go in there to kind of match and go together with it. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for being here. I truly, truly love doing this for you guys. So until the next video, take care and remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And so make sure your post notification bell is on so every time I upload, you guys will not miss a video. Until the next one, take care. Happy Sunday, and I will see you guys later. Bye, everyone.